Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you're all here. Y'all look lovely today. It's nice to see you. My name is Stephen M. Kiefer. I'm going to be your tour guide here through this little pleasure cruise we're on. And today we're going to get into some more of these conspiracy TikToks because I scroll through TikTok so you don't have to. I'm trying to save you some brain cells out there and whatnot. Right before we get into this, would you mind just hitting the sub button? It's just right down there. You know where it's at. You've seen it before. Just give it a little tap, tap, tap. I'm not going to tell you to do anything uh, rude or violate it like other people do. Just give a little bump. Just a little, just a little, a little, a little nussle, if you will. Cool. Can we do that? I promise you, I would do it for you, bro. That's all I'm saying to you. All right. Did you do it? All right. Enough of the panhandling. Let's just get right into this. Did you know that in reality, everyone is already dead? It's said that when a person dies, their brain stays alive for seven long minutes. During this time, the brain recreates memories, replaying them in a dream state. The individual sees his whole life flash before his eyes. Time elapses differently when you're awake than when you're dreaming. Seven minutes can seem like seven minutes or a century. Stephen Hawking has said that when we discover the God particle or the Hicks button, as some call it, the end of the world could happen in a day. And in 2012, we discover it. And if the world really did end in 2012, and if it did happen in an instant, and we've all been living in our own consciousness ever since, perhaps that's why, since 2012, the world has seemed increasingly strange, unreal, and absurd, as if we are all stuck in a never-ending dream. Our perceptions of reality have become distorted, blurring the lines between what is real and what is imagined. It's a perplexing thought that leaves us questioning the nature of our existence and the true boundaries of our consciousness. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I don't think there'd ever be a way for us to know. I don't know what that has to do with uh, your brain staying alive for seven minutes. What, or yeah, your whole life flashes for your eyes in seven minutes. What if you only lived for five minutes, which is a pretty grim thought, but like, <laughs> do they still have seven minutes? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, wait, hold on. That's the whole thing. What's going on here? <clears throat> Creepy fact 101. There is a conspiracy that the term mental illness is actually made up and that people with mental disorders actually see the world how it really is. Oh, I don't roll it out, man. That is for sure. It seems like the majority of the people have a mental illness these days. So like, isn't that just normal then? If most of the people got something going on, it seems like they'll diagnose anybody with something. So. But it's therapeutic. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. World's a pretty grim place. It's tough out there. Buckle up. Get a helmet. What's this fella talking about? Ever heard of the phantom time hypothesis? It's a theory that suggests we've been living a lie. The hypothesis is a historical conspiracy theory proposed by German historian Heribert Illig in 1991. According to Illig, we are not living in the 21st century, but rather in the 18th century. Sounds crazy, right? The theory suggests that the early Middle Ages, 614 through 911 AD, never happened and were fabricated by the Holy Roman Emperor Otto III, Pope Sylvester II, and possibly the Byzantine Emperor Constantine the seventh they allegedly altered the existing calendar to place themselves at the special year of 1000 AD creating a phantom time of 297 years that never existed Illig's hypothesis is based on the scarcity of archaeological evidence that can be reliably dated from the years 614 through 911 the perceived inadequacies of radiometric and dendrochronological methods of dating this period and the over-reliance of medieval historians on written sources the phantom time hypothesis 
Genesis is widely dismissed by mainstream historians and scholars. It contradicts verifiable historical and archaeological data from around the world. And the Gregorian calendar we use today, introduced by Pope Gregory XIII in 1582, is widely accepted as accurate. So, what do you think? Are we living in a fabricated timeline? Maybe. How would we ever know? It's widely accepted as accurate, the calendar. Well... The CIA doesn't want you to know that this island exists. It's called Diego Garcia, and it is located in the Indian Ocean. In 2008, Time magazine published an article about the island of Diego Garcia, stating that it is where the CIA takes all its detainees to torture them. But they also believe that the CIA conducts experiments beneath this island. Have you heard about the Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 that disappeared? Yeah. In reality, this flight may not have vanished. It landed there, and they abducted the people from the plane and subjected them to torture. The reason we might think this is because there was an IBM employee on the plane who posted a photo 10 days after the plane's disappearance. The photo showed what looked like some sort of experimental room. And if you look at the geographic coordinates of the photo, it matches this island. What? I need to see that photo, and someone needs to verify if that's true or not. I've actually never heard of that island, but you know, like if you can think it up, they're doing it for sure. There's probably all kinds of islands out there and definitely underground shit where they're doing all kinds of things. You probably heard of Mount Dolce, all kinds of weird things coming out about that. That Malaysian plane disappearing is just pure madness. Just a whole plane just disappearing out of nowhere. And people like to say, oh, the ocean's big and blah, 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 blah. Like, man. They could track somebody down on other continents for a squandering on probation. <laughs> They're not just losing a whole fucking plane unless they want to lose the plane, man. That's one of the craziest things ever happened in my entire life. Do you know the craziest conspiracy theory about one of Hollywood's most beloved actors, Keanu Reeves, that he's immortal and has lived multiple lives? This conspiracy started when theorists noticed that one of the most prolific Holy Roman Emperors of all time, Charlemagne, looks a lot like Keanu Reeves, from the eyes to the nose to the cheekbones. Even though Charlemagne was born in the year 748, the theory goes that he was powerful, rich, and of high enough status that he was asked to join the New World Order of the Illuminati. And given the opportunity to be immortal so when he would die, he would reincarnate. So here he pops up again in the 1500s in this very famous painting, Portrait of a Man, with the man who has the exact same face as Keanu Reeves. Then in the 1800s, another very famous man, a poet by the name of James Russell Lowell, pops up looking exactly like Keanu Reeves. Then right on schedule in the 1900s, a very famous actor of the time, Paul Maunet, right happens to look just like Keanu Reeves. Here's another photo. As we go, the photos get higher quality. And as Keanu is immortal and lives all these lives, he acquires more knowledge and wisdom about how to achieve success over and over again to become all these prolific men. And Keanu doesn't deny it. So before I tell you what he has to say about this, make sure you follow so you find all the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and requests who you want to see next. You, you've just been around. There's just different generations. We're Some all kid. stardust, baby. I can see that we have a Dust likeness in the, in the eyes, yeah. in the nose, and the, the mustache, and the beard, and the cheekbones, <laughs> and the forehead. Look at oh. that guy. That's the real... Oh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> He is the one. He is the Matrix. So, you know, if anybody, why not Keanu? I don't roll it out. They probably got all kinds of time travel and God only knows what. Okay, so do you guys want to get real deep down the rabbit hole with me? Super my deep. 18-year-old son got me into this and I've been hooked ever since. Tell me you guys know about the Burrow app. Could you cough somewhere else, please? <laughs> Okay, so if you have a Roku TV, it'll be there. It's in the App Store. I have tried to find this on other TVs. I have a bunch of other TVs in my house, like the Vizios and stuff like that, but I haven't been able to find it on there, but Roku has it for show. Okay, let's open this bad boy, for shall show. we? Look at it, look at it, look at it. It literally has everything. Like, I was shocked to find all of the things that they have it's is that the nirvana album cover amazing oh look at it Birdie look wood. at this it is a conspiracy theorist dream <laughs> so yeah it, wow. it, it gets pretty deep with all the stuff i mean just look 
Look at it. Oh my God, look. They even have like a whole section of the New World Order stuff, bro, what? Please explain to me how this is allowed. How is it allowed? Like, are we being tricked? Is that what's happening? We're being tricked? It's a little, it's a little suspect, but I am here for it at the moment. What are they gonna do? They're gonna come for me or something? Go ahead, come. Yo, that's crazy. I don't know if there's much of a conspiracy to that video. Apparently there's an app on Roku. I didn't know about that app, but that is wild. All that stuff would be out there. Uh, I mean, we're certainly being tricked to some extent. Uh, you know, people running the world know that everyone's into this kind of shit these days. So of course they're going to muddy the waters as much as they can lead you astray. I mean, you can't really believe anything anymore. I have to check that app out though. That's pretty wild stuff. What's going on next? Proof they are trying to kill us. All right, that's fun. Point up. I wanted to come on here and show you guys this that I saw, heard, and read about. I can't oh, believe it. And I was like, there's no way. Eating cheese. This cheese that I cheese. just took out of the fridge. And you can plainly see that I just opened me. it. <clears throat> so, when you burn it, you hear that? It's plastic, people. Lady. Yep, melting. It's funny. Kind of makes you wonder why. What do you think's gonna happen when you hold a direct flame to a piece of cheese? It's gonna burn. The fuck you mean? I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of additives and all this shit out in there. It's not real cheese and God knows what, but plastic, it's not like a bottle. I mean, I've definitely bought some cheeses and you try to melt it on like a burger or on some eggs or something. And it just kind of like, it doesn't melt. It doesn't get runny. Like, well, I don't know what's in this shit. It ain't real cheese, but plastic. I mean, it's not good for you. The food they're giving us. If you go like, you got to get stuff from like local, local yokels. That probably came from Walmart. It was probably a great value. And there's a great deal of microplastics in it. And it's going to give you a great deal of cancer. I don't know if it's plastic lady. She's a cop. I don't trust her for nothing. So I found a video of a guy that was on the plane with the woman that said she saw someone that wasn't real. Watch this. She wasn't wrong. But she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie. And finally she was like, done with it. And that's what I really started paying attention. Like, okay, what the fuck is going on? And that's when she was like, I can't do this. She started getting up. She started walking up to the front. And then the whole video thing happened. I didn't take a video of it. I was listening to a Stephen King audio book. I was like, hold on the phone and record this. And she didn't seem drunk to me, by the way. Just throwing that out there. She, I, didn't, I didn't see her drink. I mean, she didn't. She seemed totally normal to me up until that point. The weird thing was after she left the plane, the dude in the hoodie, which the flight attendant was like, did anything happen? And he still didn't say a word. He just went like, and like shrug. The dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane and he looked back at me and he winked at me. And again, I didn't quite Ooh. register it. I was like, okay, what the fuck was that? I was like, maybe he's just being like, like? winking like that was weird, wasn't it? And now that I look back, I realize that when he winked at me, it was his left eye looking back at me. It didn't wink like this. It went like this. Where is this lady? I need her side of the story. I need to hear it. I need to know all about it. Yeah, that is crazy. I mean, that lady didn't even seem drunk when she was storming out of there. She was yelling around, but she didn't seem wasted or anything. Um... I don't know. Something freaked her out. I'd like to know. She just came out with like an apology for that, but I'm sure she was just, you know, cause she's crazy now. So you have to do that. If you say something <laughs> that's out of the ordinary, that guy could be totally full of shit. Some guy winked at him on a plane. Yeah. He was probably just like full of pride. <laughs> hey buddy, want to join the mile high, high club? Come on. I don't know. What are we talking about here? How do we not notice this? Right. How did we not notice this on the show Married with Children? I don't know. Old Kelly Bundy in the building. Oh, he's puzzled. He's wondering. Excuse me. Aren't you Bruce Jenner?
She does look like Bruce Jenner, though. And now, please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. When they go out to dinner, it's all of them. The mom, the kids, and the grandma, Bruce Jenner. You know, the swack is... I can't believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. Excuse me. Aren't you Bruce Jenner? <laughs> Dude, that is super weird. Because why would they even be talking about Bruce Jenner? He's like an Olympian from like the 70s or something, so... Like, not even really a relevant person to continuously bring up like that. And also, that was not just for Married with Children. So, I mean, you could have said, <clears throat> these shows. Are those, were those all on Fox? What, it was... Family Guy Simpsons, what was it? Or Family Guy? Yeah, I don't know. That is weird. Bruce Jenner's a woman forever, forever. Then that's a gold medalist competing against men in the 70s. So, oof. That'll reinforce, reinforce some, some people's arguments. <laughs> I better quit doing that. But you know what I'm saying. The exception is not the rule, though. Regardless. South of the border. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of conspiracy theories about South of the Border, so I went to check it out myself. I wanted to see if it would be busy during busy season. Busy during busy season. There was this weird abandoned theme park that no one was at. <laughs> There's lots of them in the U.S. We decided to go into the stores. There were lots of cars. But not lots of people. Well, it's a big place. And they probably shuttle from there and go other places. There was so much merchandise, but no one was shopping. That person was just shopping. I just saw them. What do you think about this place? Well, what was the conspiracy? That it's run down like uh, a good part of America now? Now, if you've never been to south of the border, that's like... It's in the border of what, North or South Carolina? One of the two or both, I guess. Um, I was there like two years ago. As a matter of fact, I shopped there. I got this little fella. Hey, what's up, Izzy? I came from South of the Borders. They said I could be a Palicia in Illinois now. I'm going to bust me some gringos. <laughs> my little fella. Kind of a little fruit there wearing his little pink, but I don't know. It is kind of a dead zone, but it all looks run down. So like, I don't there's a lot of stuff there that seems like nobody's buying. I did buy that. And a sticker that says South of the Border. But, hey, if you know any conspiracies about South of the Border, leave a comment below and let me know. Because I would like to know. Thank you. I appreciate it. He's got a gun, son. I don't think you can say gun. He's a chump. heart attack pistol out i mean that's crazy i'm sure they have crazier stuff now you know they're mk ultra and people you know they're controlling minds a lot of these crazy things that go on i'm sure they're controlling people's minds probably since little youths i mean they probably hatch these kids in a lab somewhere or these people whoever it may be you never get a lot of backstory on when these events these crazy events happen the backstory on the person it's always just kind of like, oh, this big thing happened. We need to take your uh, method of defense away. <laughs> There's not a whole lot else said about that as far as the person. Like, where'd it come from? What went on there? Yeah, it's uh, the old heart attack gun. <laughs> we don't need a heart attack gun now. We got fast food everywhere you freaking look. You're going to have to Dutch, Dutch, Dutch shells every day, mother. So it is shorty. 
Is this proof that giants are real? Yes. Everything used to be a lot bigger due to oxygen levels and other factors. Like, Where'd take a look at this go? prehistoric centipede. Think about, about dinosaurs compared to your average animal today, or a megalodon compared to your regular shark. Take a look at these books. It's are dinosaurs reading shark. them? Or these swords? Or the very common large doorway? <laughs> Must have been very inconvenient for normal- The very common large doorway. <laughs> you don't hear that every day. It's the- It's just so common. Swords. Or the very common large doorway. Must have been very inconvenient for normal sized people. Common, Not only to build, but to operate. And like, who was using these stairs? Or making these footprints? So these Take enormous skeletons were found and given to the Smithsonian so they could research them. Like, look at this skeleton compared to the construction truck. That's huge. And there was all of this documentation that the Smithsonian was going to research. But somehow it all got destroyed. Destroyed. And the researchers don't deny the existence of giants. They don't think it's out of the question. And this list of large artifacts goes on and on and on. Like, who are they for and why are there so many of them? Giants are also mentioned in the Bible, in many cultures, in old maps. Despite the distance or time that they lived apart from each other, they all have the same description. And they all know of these beings. I have more examples down in the playlist below. Follow for more. What is it, the Nephilim? I mean, it is crazy. There's just so many things that don't uh, make any sense where a, a normal sized person, average sized person today, those stairs? What the fuck would someone build those stairs for? And why do they got to keep us in the dark about everything? Yeah, people used to be big, so were animals. They could just be like blue. That is. Oh yeah, this is crazy. So this, I don't know if it's so much conspiracy, but kind of, uh, this is about these fires in Hawaii that just happened. This young fella here has some things to say. Everyone, please do not donate to these organizations. Do not, I repeat, do not donate to FEMA. Do not donate to Red Cross. Please do not donate to them. If you want to um, donate to a place that is more effective, uh, I would suggest the Maui Food Bank or Hawaiian um, Hawaiian Community Foundation or CNHA. Um, and if y'all need, there are also locals who have shared their Venmos and GoFundMes who are actually there. But the only thing with that is some of the shelves, there's actually not a lot to buy. So then they would need to go further out. But uh, even then, just do not donate to these organizations. They are blocking road access. They are controlling road access to control the supplies. And they are only allowing supplies to go to those who choose to leave the land like and relocate to the high school. And if you don't, then you don't get supplies. So don't why'd he cut that off dude that's crazy like what even just happened in hawaii it's pure madness i mean clearly we're in orchestrated destruction of western culture the united states and it seems like the control like australia seems like they do so much things controlling there like this is an experimental lab because it's an island what are you gonna do how all those fire starts just fires in canada which is awfully weird <clears throat> all of hawaii seems to have burnt down i don't know i'm seeing pictures where there's still trees standing right beside like brick houses that burnt boats in the middle of the water that burnt <clears throat> you know a lot of the direct energy weapon thoughts are out there uh, i haven't looked into it enough i don't know man i mean everything's just so crazy anymore if anybody's from hawaii or knows somebody has direct knowledge to, and you have uh some interesting thoughts on that if you don't mind psh, 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 let me know i appreciate it the the feel good story of the day <laughs> this little video right here it's pretty quick i hope it don't get me banned and um if you're offended this ain't the place for you it's funny it's a cat, for God's sakes. Oh, he's talking to you guys. <laughs> Who raised that cat? What's wrong with that cat? Oh my. Did you hear that little mug? Oh, he's talking to you guys. <laughs> Those kids are shocked, man. Get that cat out of here.
<laughs> what a little jerk. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. Well, that's video. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate all of you. If you didn't hit that sub button in the beginning, it's a little bit rude. But if you could do it now, that'd be great. Hit the like button if you liked it. If you didn't, just don't do anything other than that. All right. We'll have the next one coming here shortly. You all have a great day. Bye now.